Good morning. Let us study today vibrating rotator. What is called vibrating rotator? For example, when a molecule vibrates, when a molecule vibrates, there will be rotation also. There will be rotation also. In rigid rotator, we have studied there is only rotation only. That is, there will be no vibration. Only rotation in rigid rotator. In simple harmonic oscillator, there will be only vibration. There is no rotation. So that they are mathematically simple and can be readily solved. In this case, we will see the vibration rota rotational energy levels. Okay. Now, the rotational energy level, the separation of rotation energy level is very very small. The separation of rotation energy level is very simple to study. Uh, there are three points only. You can easily write the separation of rotation energy level is only 1 to 10 centimeter inverse for diatomic molecule and for the vibration energy level, the vibration, the separation of vibration energy level is 3000 centimeter minus 1. See the energy, the energy to cause vibration is more than the energy to cause rotation. The energy to induce rotation is very very less. Whereas the large energy is given for rotational motion or vibrational motion. Okay. Since the next based on this, the energies are so different. The energies are so different. Therefore, the diatomic molecules execute or undergoes rotation and vibrations independently. These two rotational motions and vibrational motions are independent because why these two energies are different. When the two energies are different, okay, so they undergo, the molecules undergo rotation, vibration and vibrations independently. Based on that, Oppenheimer assumed that, based on this, he assumed that the combined rotational vibrational energy, the combined rotational vibrational energy is simply the sum of individual rotational vibrational energy. Rotational vibration energy. Therefore, this is mathematical form of von Oppenheimer approximation. The total energy is equal to the sum of individual rotational and vibration energy expressed in joules. In spectroscopy, the energy the, is not expressed in joules, but it is expressed in wave number. Okay, we have already seen this. Please watch that. Mm. Now, small e t equal to e or the t in centimeter inverse. We have already studied the rotation energy is given by the expression from rigid rotator. We have studied the rotation energy level expression is V into J into J plus 1. Similarly, the vibration energy level expression, these two are vibration energy expression, okay. And these two are vibration energy expression. Nu V plus 1 by 2 nu bar minus V plus 1 by 2 whole square Xe nu bar where J where B is the rotational constant, where B is the rotational constant that is inversely proportional to mass and J is the rotational quantum number 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. B is the vibrational quantum number 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. Xc is the unharmonicity constant, unharmonicity constant because it is not simple harmonic motion and the new bar is the new bar is the fundamental vibrational frequency in wave number, in wave number and ignoring centrifugal distortion during rotation, rotational motion there will be centrifugal distortion also but we have neglected, we have ignored the centrifugal distortion. Okay. Now let us see the energy levels, vibrational and rotational energy levels. Uh, the rotational and vibrational energy levels are shown here. The rotation energy levels, the rotational energy, this, this is vibration, this is vibration energy level, any V equal to 1, ground state, and V equal to 1, these two are V equal to 1 and V equal to 0 are the vibration energy levels. And this J double prime, J double prime is the, are the rotational energy levels for the ground state, V equal to 0, ground state vibration level, and it is by conversion J double prime, J prime, Rotational energy levels, J prime, 
for mean b equal to 1. I will discuss that in the other question here. Okay. Based on more open diamond approximation, the, the separations of rotational energy levels, see, these are same. The rotational, the separations of rotational energy levels for e equal to 0 and e equal to 1 are similar and because the rotational constants are also similar. The rotational constants for J, J double prime and J prime are same or same based on ball open diamond approximation. Now let us study the transition. Let us study the transition. To effect the transition, the selection rules are obeyed. The selection rules are followed. The, the selection rule for vibrational transition. The selection rule for vibrational transition is delta V equal to plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, etc. The selection rule for rotational energy levels, delta J equal to plus or minus 1. Okay? Now, for transition from for transition from v equal to 0 to v equal to 1, that is the delta E. Delta E is equal to delta E equal to E2 minus E1. Delta E transition energy. What is transition energy? Delta E equal to E2 minus uh, E1. Therefore, for transition from v equal to 0 to 1 and Similarly, J double prime equal to J prime. Okay, J double prime equal to J prime. Now, here you see, the higher level, this is a higher level, higher level to 1 to 0. C branch lines due to higher, due to delta J equal to minus 1, it follows the C branch lines, follow this selection rule, delta J equal to minus 1. All branch lines, which are called, this is the spectrum, this is the vibrating, rotating spectrum of diatomic molecule, I have shown here, okay, and the E branch lines, E branch lines are due to higher to lower, see, 2 to 1, 3 to 2, here, these are, these uh, all branch lines are due to lower to higher, 0 to 1. Therefore, delta J 1 minus 0 positive. Here, this is 0 minus 1. Therefore, minus 1. Okay. So, let us uh, calculate the transition energy. Let us calculate the transition energy for C branch lines, Q branch lines and Q branch. In the, in the case of Q branch, 0 to 0, 1 to 1. So, there is no change in the delta J equal to 0. Delta J equal to 0, that is the band center, band center or band origin. This is the spectrum obtained is called band spectrum. Spectrum obtained is called because the lines are very close. Now, delta E, the change in energy due to the transition is obtained using this equation. See, for example, J, J prime, J prime is the excited J prime minus. B J prime J J prime plus one minus B that is E two minus E one therefore J B J double prime J double prime plus one. Similarly well, here mu zero E one okay E two minus E zero here E zero therefore one plus two three by two mu bar and one plus two three by two whole square and the next uh, this is final scale, E2 minus E1. This is mu plus 0, therefore 1 by 2, I have written here. On simplification, on simplification, this term mu, mu bar, this term will be mu bar equal to mu bar, mu, mu bar not equal to mu bar 1 minus 2 xt. This is called mu bar, mu bar, mu not bar is called band center. A problem may be asked using this calculate the band center for vibrating rotator molecule. You are given the fundamental absorption frequency wave number, wave number and the unharmonicity constant. Then you can calculate the band center. Band center, this is the band center. The lines, the lines left to the band center. The lines left to the band center are called the free band lines. The lines right to the band center are called the or branch lines. Okay. Now let us. Uh, this is the equation we have obtained on simplification of the transition energy. Okay. For delta J, let us see first. Uh, 
or branch length. Let us see or branch length. Delta J equal to plus or plus one. Now plus one means J J prime equal to plus one means J prime equal to J double prime plus one. Okay, so J prime one zero plus one. Therefore J double prime equal to sorry J prime equal to J double prime plus one. Whereas here it will be opposite. Delta J minus it will be opposite. J double prime equal to minus one. It will be minus one. Right. Therefore, the, on substituting, let us substitute this J in equation two. In equation two, you will obtain mu bar mu dot bar plus two p J double prime plus one. Okay. Similarly, for delta J equal to minus one, delta J equal to minus one, then J double prime J double prime equal to higher level. Therefore, J this plus one J prime J double prime equal to two J prime plus one. On substituting this expression, we will get mu naught bar minus two p j prime plus one. Okay, this uh, j prime equal to j prime. Uh, you have seen j prime equal to zero, one, two, three, four. Similarly, j double prime equal to zero, one, two, three, four, etc. By combining the two equations three and four, you can write uh, delta e mu delta e equal to mu mu naught bar plus two p m. Okay, m. For m equal to plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus one corresponds to plus one corresponds to or branch lines. Okay, it will become plus, and this minus one corresponds to p branch lines. P branch lines. So for for delta j equal to zero, delta j equal to zero, q branch, and plus one or branch, minus one p branch. Similarly, there are also other possibilities. There are also other possibilities. Minus two, zero, delta j, delta j equal to plus two k. So there are three types of here. There are three types of transitions. One is lower to higher. Okay, that is delta j equal to plus one. Another is higher to lower, higher to lower, and that is the p branch. And in the q branch. There is no change in rotational coordinates, zero to zero, okay, one to one, two to two to two, etc. Okay, I have also given some uh, important points. Please read that also. It will be useful for your exams. Thank you for watching.